The following video is approximately 8 minutes long and includes audio description for people who are blind or have low vision. Title card. This presentation was prepared under federal financial assistance provided by FEMA's Grant Programs Directorate, U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Points of view or opinions expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official position of policies of FEMA's Grant Programs Directorate of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Title card. Cal OES Logo. Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Host in Wheelchair. Hi, I'm Richard DeVelder. Chief of the Office of Access and Functional Needs at the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. I'm speaking to you today in from the California Center. State Operations Center. The typical response during an earthquake, children climbing drop tables. cover and hold on, may not be the right choice for those of us who have disabilities or are older adults with other functional needs. Office during earthquake. Earthquakes strike suddenly, without warning, and they can occur at any time of the year day or night. Map of US Nearly every state and territory in the United States Seismograph. is at moderate to very high risk of earthquakes. Host and office. In the event of a major earthquake, the damage they can inflict Classroom could earthquake. include power outages down power and lines. down power lines, Building on fire. gas leaks, fires, Building rubble. broken windows, and falling objects which are dangerous for everyone man in and wheelchair. can be a greater threat to people with disabilities and older adults. Elderly man on we news. must plan Ambulance. for our response as if no one is coming to rescue us, Please call. because they are not. It is unrealistic to believe that there are enough pose. resources Please for call. everyone to receive assistance. Host and office. Those of us who have disabilities or are older adults need to adapt earthquake preparation and response as the decisions we make could save our lives. The following simulations are for individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing. Girls sitting together using sign language at home. Simulated earthquake. Oh. Girls crawl under table. Mom runs in room signing. Girls! Girls, you okay? You okay? It's fine. It's all done. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're pulling girls out from under table. It's okay, it's okay. Ow. It's with my ear. Host with interpreter, mother, and girls in same room. So is this kind of scary? Girl signing. Translator interprets. I acted and saw the furniture move. Sister, were you scared? Me Girl signing. and Ellie were scared. You were scared? Girl signing. Translator interprets. And when the bookcase fell down, I was scared. Yes. And so when there's an earthquake, what are you supposed to do? I would go under a table or something else. That's right. You want to first go under something because you never know if the books are falling and it might hurt you. And then mommy will come get you. What have you told them? Don't hide because mommy can't voice because um, you can't hear mommy say your name or call you. Um, and I want to be scared if mommy is looking and can't find you. New scene. Boy comes into home, locks the door, drops backpack on floor, goes to TV monitor, turns it on, and sits down on chair in front of screen. Boy uses sign language to talk to his mother on TV screen. On TV screen using sign language and speaking. Oh, good. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'll be home soon. Bye-bye. I love you. Boy turns off screen with remote, gets up, and walks into kitchen. Earthquake begins. Boy gets under kitchen table and covers head with arms. After earthquake dissipates, the boy texts on phone. Cell phone, no service. The scared boy runs back into room with TV monitor. It won't turn on. Boy runs back into kitchen and goes under table with cell phone. Close up of cell phone. The boy texts aren't being delivered. Title card, 20 minutes later. While still under table, boy receives a text from his mother. Are you okay? Go to neighbors. I'm on my way. 
host with interpreter boy and mother in kitchen. Was that scary for you? Interpreter signs. Boy via translator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. What was scary about it? Mm -mm. Because it could be uh, potentially dangerous and painful. Mom, what message would you like to give to other parents who may have a child who is uh, deaf or hard of hearing? Mom. To teach their kids that they can't just be dependent on technology because during a bad earthquake, that's going to fail. So we arranged for him to go to a neighbor. Um, and after this shaking stops, he goes to the neighbor's house. He would know, and they know a little bit of sign language. And I'd go back and I'd pick him up there. Host an office. We have just seen an example of how a person with a disability or older adult should respond during an earthquake. Have you thought about this scenario? and made preparations for what you would do, let's always remember that we are not helpless and we can take control of our plan and our response. Ambulance. Act as if no one is coming to rescue you. You are in charge. A simple buddy system is not lady enough. Helping man in wheelchair we need to build a support team, which include neighbors, coworkers, senior lady friends, floor. and family. Have practice sessions with them to ensure that they can help you Know what you need and be able to quickly provide instructions to others on how to assist you. Plan for all disasters. Think about what needs you would have after a disaster. Man drags himself on floor. Would you need to evacuate or shelter in place? He's texting on phone. What if technology fails? What if the power goes out and you no longer have cell, cell service? Phone. No service. Then Two what? Girls under table. If you have a family Mom member room with signing. specific emergency preparedness needs, think about all the different scenarios that could affect them. Be realistic. Five minutes, the government does not have enough resources and responders to help Child everyone. In loading in van. If you need to evacuate, how can you leave the area? In what stairs. if you cannot independently get downstairs? Do you have Post family, neighbors, or friends to assist you? Practice with earthquake drills. To know it is to do it. Being ready to evacuate or shelter in place is the key to staying safe in an emergency. emergency items. In your plan, don't forget to build an emergency kit with essential items you need to keep Backpack with you. Being put in closet. This includes medications, Pill bottles, any consumable medical supplies, a whistle, whistle. and something very important, Thumb drive. a USB drive that includes important documents like your most recent medications, copy of your driver's license or ID, emergency contacts. In office. I really hope you take this to heart. This is about you saving your own life. OES logo and web address, www.caloes.ca.gov. End of video.